Good, Cynthia Mallard, Media Mondays. Yes, what, did you forget? Of course it's Mondays, you Motivation Mondays, Media Mondays with me, Cynthia Mallard. Always great uh, just to have all of my vets come back every single week. Yes, I've got your DMs. Yes, I've got your messages. Uh, totally, totally appreciate it. And then for you uh, who are new, like you're just uh, tuning into Media Mondays with me, Cynthia Mallard. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the family, right? We just talk all things media. Uh, like I said, every week, print, broadcast, online, just an exchange of ideas, communication, the whole nine, right? So as always, listen, stop, share, 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 like right this minute. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You're watching me. You see that red button? Definitely just hit it, okay? Um, so that you know exactly uh, when I release new content, new personal, new career development just for you in this media world, right? So you're not having to go out here and spend thousands of dollars, right? Um, you just you're logging on to me. You're logging on to me. I'm just giving you some just a just a few tidbits of what allowed me to be successful uh, in this career in just different arenas. So like, so, so cool. So anyway, thank you so much for subscribing. Also sharing, I did say that, right? Share, 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 uh, like and comment. And of course you can always email me, uh, studio set stage at gmail.com. Again, my email, you can get at me, uh, studio set stage at gmail.com. And don't hesitate. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So uh, for today's Media Mondays tips, right? We've covered this before. It's been, I think, a few years. Um, but I always get the question, you know, of course, we're in the middle of the pandemic, right? Uh, we're all Zooming and uh, like we're in front of this camera, right? Yes, we are. So we're, we're, oh, I think my I think my screen like went dead for a minute. I hope I'm back up. Okay, anyway, so we're in the middle uh, of, of this pandemic and we're all on camera, right? And we're all required uh, to speak, you know, I don't know, convey ideas, right? And then there's just like a really like a target, like people like you're front and center, right? Especially when you're on camera and, you know, you're at home. Some, some people are still working uh, from home. Uh, and so, you know, the way you are conducting your business is, you know, you're on, you're on camera just, just like I am. And more than ever, especially when you are on camera, um, people have a tendency to focus on, you know, they're looking at you, of course, so they're focusing on what you look like, right? That's a tutorial from a, for a different day. Um, but today we're going to talk about just your words and what you're saying, how you're saying it and how they are coming across, right? So, um, I feel like I have a specialty in that. I, I did it for a long time. Um, it was my responsibility, uh, to know how to say things, how to enunciate, you know, that type of thing. So like I said, today's Media Mondays tip, totally super, super short, uh, but life, life changing. So, oh, I, I kind of messed up. I, I didn't bring the actual tool in the room in the studio, but anyway, um, I'll walk you through it. So, um, people always ask me, you know, how do I... How do I get better? How do I get better at my words? How do I get better uh, at my sentences? You know, um, how do I make them roll off my tongue just kind of effortlessly, right? So um, speaking um, and knowing how to speak, um, it's, it's, it's almost like, and I was talking with a mentor of mine, um, it's almost like a lost art. Like, some, you know, sometimes people just, it's like, Honestly, when it comes to um, oratory, like, we're just lazy. I mean, how, how else can I say it, right? We're just lazy. We think it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about it. Um, look at maybe possibly your colleagues. Think about um, your boss, maybe someone in your family. Like, we just we just don't put that much importance on, on oh, that's a correct sentence. Um, wow, that's not how you say that word. Or yeah, it is how you say that word, right? Um, I come from the school of it's important and I love I love words. I know maybe everyone doesn't feel that way, but I will tell you in personal development, in career development, it matters 
to the utmost, you know? And especially if you're trying to go into, um, you're trying to stay uh, in this arena. Um, what you say, how you say it, how it sounds, it just matters. It absolutely matters. Uh, when you are maybe watching uh, your favorite actor or you're watching your favorite newscast or you, you're watching your favorite entertainment show, right? Um, think about uh, when they say something wrong or think about when they say something that you say, mm, I don't think it's supposed to be said like that. Don't you like raise an eyebrow? Like, <laughs> right? You do. You really do. And you're like, or if they stumble and you're like, what? like what? what's wrong with them? <laughs> Yeah, we all have done it, right? So that lets you know, listen, it is important. It is important uh, what you say, how you say it, how it sounds, right? So listen, I'm going to give you a quick tip, very quick tip uh, today, how to make yourself better. So it's very easy, very, very simple. You're going to be like, oh, this is common sense, right? So we talked about this before. Grab your newspaper, just real quick. Anybody got a newspaper around possibly? <laughs> Maybe you have a book. I say newspapers. Um, I, I really like things that have declarative statements in them. Um, so it's a little bit better. So all you have to do, I know, I know, but everybody's like, no, no, I have a physical newspaper. It shows you my, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm that person. I'm still into the physical uh, newspapers. So yeah, I get them. I read them. But here's the key. Not only do you get the paper and you read it, right? Um, be sure to read it out loud. So you're like, Cynthia, that sounds crazy. People are going to think I'm retarded. They might think that. They may think, you know, something's wrong with you, uh, especially in this day of age, 2021. Listen, you're doing this in the comfort, hopefully, of your home or your training studio or wherever you are, right? Get the paper. Whatever it is, it can be just a, a bunch of declarative uh, statements um, and hold it up, read it out loud. Read it out loud. That is the simplest tip ever, right? Common sense. But what happens is when you're reading, um, whatever you're reading, just, and I say newspaper because it's one of my favorites uh, to do. It's how I was trained um, and it works. So you're reading out loud, you're listening to yourself and you actually catch yourself saying the words right, you catch yourself saying the words wrong, um, you catch yourself um, uh, using a declarative sentence when it should be a, a question, uh, you catch yourself with rhetorical questions, like you catch every single thing. So you're reading out loud and you can hear it. So try it, try it, try it right now. You know, um, if you just have a book, maybe you have a book um, online, pull up something uh, on your device and just start to read it out loud and listen to yourself. I know <laughs> many of you are like, no, 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 I don't want to hear myself. But listen, that is where we start. That is how we start. Uh, that is how we get better at, you know, pronouncing our words correctly. Yes, I get excited about words and, and the pronunciation and enunciation. Yes, that's just, it's just part of my world. So, um, but get it, get a newspaper, okay, online, if you don't have a physical one, and just read it out loud, guys. You, I promise you, I promise you. And let me know how it goes for you, okay? And read it, read whatever the article is, read it from top to bottom, okay? So don't stop and then go back. No, read it from top to bottom. I don't care if you mess up a hundred times. Read it from top to bottom and read it over and over again, right? Each time you get better and better at those words. It's like muscle memory, right? Uh, once you read the word, you read the word and it's right. When you eventually get the word right, <laughs> uh, you read it over and over again. Uh, to where it becomes part of your soul, becomes part of your spirit, uh, becomes part of your memory, okay? So listen, very simple, very cool, uh, very common sense, right? Try it. Let me know how it worked for you, okay? Uh, again, you can email me, guys, studiosetstage at gmail.com. Again, studiosetstage at gmail.com. And don't forget, y'all, share. Share uh, this tutorial for someone who who possibly may have a difficulty with enunciating it and, and you know, pronunciations of uh, that type of thing, you know, even better. Like I said, you can share uh, my email with them and you know what? I can take them a little bit further, of course. All right. 
uh, as you know. Um, and then also subscribe, 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 subscribe. And this is Studio Set Stage with me, Cynthia Mallard. I have enjoyed this tip. And again, let me know how it worked out for you guys. Check with you next time.